Well, uh, today is my sort of mid-day, mid-section of my cruise. Remember, it's a four-day, three-day, and I'm staying on board, obviously, uh, after the four-day, but there's a whole procedure we had to do. Yesterday, we had to go down to a meeting at 10 o'clock and uh, hand in a health questionnaire. And on this health questionnaire, they uh, started asking us about, like, our COVID vaccine dates. I don't know about you. I don't remember my last COVID vaccine date, let alone my first COVID vaccine date. I just put down some years, said, here, take a guess. Um... <laughs> Uh, yeah, who travels with that information anymore? I'm surprised he even asked for that on the health questionnaire. But now it's the day of disembarkation. And we have to turn in our sea pass cards, be escorted off the ship. We're all here in Eden, with a whole bunch of people downstairs, all waiting to be escorted off, go through, hand in our sea pass card, go through um, facial recognition and customs, turn around, walk back on the ship. We have to bring our passports and our new sea pass cards to get back on the ship. It's a, it's a whole procedure for a, another three days on this, but everybody else has already been called. There is nobody supposedly left on the ship. Uh, they're not calling any more people for their luggage and everyone's supposed to be off and it's only 9.15 in the morning. So. That means everyone was able to get off by nine, roughly nine o'clock in the morning, which is a pretty good considering we didn't pull in till seven. So that's pretty quick disembarkation, which kind of leads me to the thing of, I don't know if this ship was full. It said it was sold out, but I don't know if it was or not because it didn't feel like it was sold out. Like it didn't feel overly crowded at any point. And Except for maybe yesterday, <laughs> yesterday in the buffet, they announced a 12 noon special buffet. And it was, they had lobster and all kinds of seafood and shrimp and scallops and all, you know, really good buffer a buffet, really big, huge selection yesterday. And they were cooking it all fresh when we were there. They were frying it up and there was all kinds of stuff, but that was packed. Right at 12, that was packed. Um, the rest of the time that I've been on, I've gone at the same time every day for lunch and there hasn't been very many people, so not so bad, but, uh, just sitting here. Hi, you, like I said, Eden here at the aft of the ship is a perfect place to just come sit, relax. And if I looked over there, you can just barely see out that window there, the Caribbean princess. And, uh, yeah. I'm on the Caribbean Princess on her next sailing. So she's leaving today. And I'm going for three days. Then I come back and I head off on my uh, Universal Adventure. And then I'm back here, right over there at that dock, to jump on that ship just a little bit later. Uh, like I said before, uh, my, I found out my friend Kevin Tugwell, the cruise director, is not going to be on board, which I thought he was, according to my friend Sophie, when I was on the Caribbean Princess with our group. She said, yeah, he, she's ta he's taken over for me, but something happened and he's not able to take over. So I'm not sure who the cruise director is going to be, so I'm up for a new challenge in the Yes No Game show. I don't think it's somebody I've met before. Somebody told me it's uh, someone named Olivia. I don't think I've met Olivia before, but we'll find out. Good news is Tony and Jenny are on board, so I'll have some good friends on board to have some fun. But yeah, this part of the cruise is, you know, I, I would have much rather sleep in after going to late shows last night at 1045 in the evening and getting back to my room after midnight. I would much rather have slept in than have to do all this this morning, but it's not the ship who's making me do it. It's customs and immigration that's making me do it. So remember that if you're going to have 
back-to-back -back cruises, you're probably still going to have to check in, change your seat pass cards, do a health questionnaire, get off the ship and get right back on the ship. You, I was allowed to go ashore today, but you know it's nine o'clock now. We have to be on board by two thirty, so didn't leave a whole lot of time to go do too too much. And I was here in Fort Lauderdale the day early, so I figured. I'll just uh, head to the gym and uh, spend some time in the gym this morning. Try and burn off some of these calories again and, uh, and get ready for another night of entertainment. So part two, we've gone to customs after waiting downstairs a bit, turned around, came back into the terminal. And now we're sitting here waiting for them to let us back on the ship. No idea how long this is going to take us. But normally when this happens, you just drop back on the ship. No waiting in this room. Not sure why they're doing this. But they look like they have people down there waiting for us. Just a very, very peculiar thing. I'm, I'm chalking this up to maybe inaugural sailing, but uh, yeah, a lot of people have confused looks on their face, just like I do, because you never have to wait. Normally, you just back on the ship. <laughs> okay, that was a bit of a mess. Lining up everybody in front of the same doors got really confusing. Okay, I'm going to chalk that up, yes. I'm going to chalk this up a little bit to... First, first cruise embarkation because that was a little bit of a mess so let me explain exactly what was going on and uh, wrap it up a little bit here we are doing the swap around today some people got off and some people were staying on because we did the three day after the four day so after the meeting yesterday we were told to go down to Eden and then we had to bring our passport and our sea pass card they uh, told us that when we're heading off the ship, we will turn in our sea pass card. They'll have given us a new one in Eden, and then we use that one to get back on the ship. So we thought, zoom, zoom, in and out. It was supposed to be there at 9.15, so I was there, and uh, yeah, other people were just showing up at 9.15, and then at one point, they announced us, bring us all down. You know, At that point, we're all lining up to get our new sea pass card. And here's the problem. The trouble is they also had contract workers on board. And at first they were just taking everybody in the same line and they had to do different sort of things, I guess. But it turns out, well, they, uh, they about halfway through getting everybody, they decided to put two lines out. And now some people were in the wrong line and some people didn't know what they were doing. So it became a little bit of a confusion for guests. Then some passengers thought they didn't need their sea pass card anymore and just tossed them in the garbage. And so on their way out, they didn't have their sea pass cards with them. Also, some people's new sea pass card hadn't been printed yet and weren't sitting at the desk for them, but they were still escorted off the ship and then had to wait downstairs until they got their new sea pass card to get back on the ship. Once we got downstairs, we stood in line again. We're in this big room and uh, down where they would bring our luggage if they were we were getting off the ship. And lo and behold, nope, uh, we just stood there for a while. And then they said, okay, you're clear to go through. So we all go through and stand in line again. Now that part wasn't that long to go through, but you had those contract workers again some of them were all in line with us and some just walked up past everybody and that was getting some people a little upset that they had walked all the way up to the front of the line as if they were you know more important than everybody else who would actually pay to be on the cruise um, meanwhile there were other workers that were also still in line like they were with everybody else which was probably a mistake they should have done it separate they should have had the guests at one point and the crew at one point. They should never have mixed them um, together. Should have, they should have done it in two separate groups. 
brought one group to another room, bring one, bring the, the guests who are coming back on board to another one and have two different ways of doing it at two different times. It should have been done, it would have been less confusing. Then after we get through, we're rescued in, we think we're going back on the ship and they just bring us, bring us into the waiting room inside the terminal. And we all have to sit and wait in there again. And I noticed some people going around with the iPads and they're taking pictures of everybody. And I figure, okay, they're going around everybody and they're gonna take pictures. And then they decided not that to do that. And they decided that they're going to make lines and everyone's gonna stand in line. Now, keep in mind, some people have already had their pictures and everything taken. So they don't have to stand in line. They've already gone and done that, but they set the lines up directly in front of the doors. And in fact, instead of like having a sectioned off area where, you know, when you're normally getting on, they will, you know, have a rope in front of you and separate lines. And then when you're cleared, they lift the rope up, you go through, they put the rope up to the next person. They just had it wide open. And one of the people was standing there right in front of the door, like completely in front of the door. So the line was there. And of course it's two or three you know, wide and then all the way back. So even those people who had cleared the line and were able to go through had a hard, were now trying to squeeze through everybody to get through the doors in order to get through the line. And that, uh, yeah, it, it, it was kind of a little bit of a shambles. And again, in the future guys, it pull people away from the door first. Don't be in, in the doorway, be about 10 feet in front of the door and then don't go around and start checking people with the iPads and then tell everyone to get in line and start doing it again because those people now were back in line even though they didn't have to be. It was, yeah. And there, and this is a this was a fairly minor amount of people. I'd say there might have been about 150 of us altogether, including the crew. So this should have gone much, much smoother. It took two hours and 15 minutes from the time I walked to Eden to the time I stepped back on the ship. And normally this situation, I've, I've done it before on back-to-back -back cruises and gone through this system. And normally it's all done with, within about 45 minutes to an hour. And I think the fact that they had contract workers mixed in there with the rest of the guests probably confused a lot of the system. And, and of course, having some CPAS cards not ready to give out to people didn't help. And then the kerfuffle of being put back into the terminal and having to take our pictures again, I don't know. It, it just seemed a bit chaotic for what it should have been. So uh, hopefully they get this ironed out a little bit better in the future. It's been my only real, like it seemed like they got everybody off the ship really quickly this morning. Between seven and nine, they, at nine they were calling the last passengers to get off the ship. So that was pretty good. However...
yeah, this part needs a little bit of fine tuning. 